Hi viewers, this is a new video for the standard deviation and variance. So this is the data way here. So we have to calculate the standard deviation and I'm going to show you the variance in population and variance in sample and standard deviation in population and standard deviation in sample and the differences. So this is the amount of data we have. So we have to find the average of this. So when you check this, it's a total of 656. When you add this, so the average will be like, we have to divide by 8. So this can be done a simple formula if I show you here. The sum of all this divided by the sum of all this divided by the count of this range. So it is going to give you 82. Now there is a difference between confusion in which is to be taken first the mean or the x. So if you take the object to do it in both ways, so let's take this in the beginning. So if I am taking this value minus number of count and I am going to do a lock. So you can see when you bring it down this should be zero and this is the square of this. So if I am going to show you how to do differently in square you can do this multiplied by again this. So it will be the same on the answer. You can do this thing to the power 6 by 2 or you can also do the power formula power this and the number of power will be comma 2 2 times and so the parenthesis so all this is going to be the same so the total of the, the whole total is going to be 150 So now, now the population variance of population means the whole population, not a sample. So the formula is this. This is going to be total divided by n. So it is going to be the total divided by n. N is the number of samples. So number of samples is going to be count of this eight. And minus one is going to be the same equals to the total of here divided by 7 so you can you can take it 7 or you can take 8 minus 1 also whatever it is so I'm going to put 7 and I'm going to reduce this thing so this is the variance now if you want to go to the variance directly that also can be done as I showed you there are two type of variances for the sample and the population. First for the population V A R dot P open the parenthesis go to the data sub data points data well, here and close it. So you can see this this answer and this answer are the same. Now if you want to go to the sample go to this V A R dot s open the parenthesis and again select the data close the parenthesis so you can see this and this are the same now you can do the standard deviation is the square root of these two square root the square root is like equal to square root open the parenthesis And again, you can copy this down. So this is the difference. This is the difference here, and the standard deviation is 4.3, and for and for sample is 4.73. But again, you can do the same thing in the directly without doing all this stuff. Without doing all the singles set of seconds within span of some minute you just have to type st standard deviation for population 
create the whole data. Close it. And you can see the answer. This 4.3 and 4.3 again. We can do for the sample also. Standard deviation. This is for the sample. Select the data. Close the parenthesis. So in this way you can see that the same thing can be done. Now if somebody has a confusion, people say that we don't know how to deduct this from this this from the main data or this in the reverse. That also can be done. Now I'm going to reverse the formulas. Now it is positive 4, it can become minus 4 also. So I'm going to take this, lock the cell minus and correct here. So you can see the formula has been reversed. But you can see that there is no such difference, major differences over here. Just still the things are in the same way. So I hope you find this video useful and understanding what is the population uh, variance and population variance in sample. So this formula n minus 1 and that also variance and square root. So see you in the next video. Thank you very much.